in this video, we're going to look at a graph from real life. And so we have this graph from Charter, and it's showing um, history of the music industry, whether it was 8-track or vinyl or cassette. And to me, a very interesting graph. And I see in this graph um, kind of a polynomial shape. And so as I want to apply what we've been learning to the real life, I want to start by picking out um, where I think there would be extrema. And so I'm going to try to get a red pen here. So the first time I see right here, this is definitely a low value, so we'll call that a minimum. And I would call it relative because we really aren't deciding um, if that's the lowest ever or not. Up here at the top, there's these two points that are both pretty tall. I decided that in general, this looks like an up curve. Um, and so I decided that this was my ma maximum. Again, I called it relative. But if you wanted to make it two different maximums there, you could. I think that would be fine. And then again, over here, I see another minimum. This one looks like it might be the lowest ever on this graph. So we'll just call it minimum. So how many extrema? I'm going to go with three. But if you had picked two maximum points, then there would have to be a minimum in between them. And so you could have also went with five. So what degree should I use? Well, I should use four, and I get that from the extrema plus one. Is the degree even or odd? Well, I look at the four, and that is clearly even. And then I'm asked, how does the graph confirm this? Well, that's where I look. And this side of the graph, if I would continue the shape, that would go up to infinity. And on this side of the graph, if I would continue the shape, that would also go up to infinity. So both sides go the same direction. And when both sides go to the same direction, it's an even function. Then I'm asked, what is the sign of the leading coefficient? So I make that decision based on the right side of the graph. So the right side of the graph goes to positive infinity, so that would be positive, and then because of right side of the graph. And then I went ahead and drew in kind of what I, the shape that I was seeing, that polynomial, those swooping curves that we see. And so, this is what I thought it looked like. So as I had said, I had just used one relative maximum using that um, flip of a point that's going up there um, as just a data point and not an overall trend change. And so I have the two ends of the graph headed towards positive infinity. I have three extrema. And I have these swooping curves that all fit the polynomial shape. So what function would I use for this? Well, with degree of 4, I would use a quartic function. And so that's how I would model this information about the word music.